just driving up um, around and look at the front of Minehead Community Hospital. Right? This is the new hospital built. It's only been the last two or three years, isn't it? About three years. This morning we've been invited in to see the work that's going on in oh, the original. Yes, you can. Can you? No, I'm going up to Zoom, it says. Oh, it says way out up there, right? So perhaps it means in there, I'm going Yeah, we've been invited in to see the work being done by volunteers and others in the original Minded Hospital, which is situated right in the centre of town. So do a flyby there next. Well, we're travelling down Friday Street now, which joins at the top of the avenue. And the whole hospital, the old hospital, will be down on our right in a moment. It's not on the it's on the, yeah, the probably left hand side of the road. Got a few old buildings here. Mostly with shops or banks beneath them. Or just beyond this red uh, shuttering is the old hospital. Thank you. See you on the map. See you to the bottom bit of it. I know. That's better than not at all. <laughs> We're going around the back of the hospital to meet a couple of the main volunteers who are doing the restoration work and to hear the story of what they're proposing, it will be in a few years' time. We're in the old hospital at Minehead, just being offered some tea and coffee, or coffees, isn't it? And uh, two of the leading lights here are going to tell us all what they're doing here, you and a friend. We own the building, we, we, we bought it. Um, <laughs> we've been we been getting it, uh, <laughs> returning it back to community use, and that's what yeah. we're about. Let's make yeah. us a coffee, yeah. and then we'll go, go and I'll show you around. So we'll get an idea in here. Yeah. So are all the people working here volunteers, then? Some is very expensive <laughs> skill trades. So yeah, oh, yeah, you need someone who does a job properly. Pay a few pennies. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Brenda's an actual tradesman. Yeah. I'm just a volunteer. Right. <laughs> She's an <laughs> exceptional volunteer. <laughs> but all volunteers are exceptional. Yeah. yeah. But this this room's going backwards and forwards because it was all like the ceiling. Um, the church next door double booked and they had a tabletop sale, so we thought we've got the walls to this day and painted it. Just as a quick fix, so they could use the room, but obviously yeah. it's a work in progress. And this right. will be, if we get the wedding license, it's one of the rooms for. Oh, yeah. For the next month, and, and we've got we'll a proper usable standard. Yeah. 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 When this is, we're on a six week rush room to try and get this room, and in here. Obviously, the entrance is there. This is one of the rooms which hopefully will. Oh, yes. Oh, this is going to go there. Oh, lovely, yes. Yeah, I do, yeah. isn't it? And this one's not, there's not that much to do there. No, obviously. Yeah, lovely. We've got the bit of the frame there to make it look like a bit of a little 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 bit of a I remember there were stories when the lift wasn't that reliable. If you want a lift, you know, this one's going banging because oh, right. when it gets restored, we'll be putting a lift in a different position. Oh, right. Um, okay. Uh, you know, which, which means that we can recover the original assembly room. Yeah. That's the overall plan is to return it back to our bottom of the assembly room. Yes. So they're applying for heritage funding for that. So while we're waiting for that, we're just trying to get these rooms. Have you got like a deadline when you must do all the work by or not? Sorry? Is there a deadline by which you must finish all the work? No, it's really, um, I mean, it's really about 
the rate at which we raise funds, but we're not doing it through the council routes because it's a heritage building. Yeah. Uh, or the majority of it's a heritage building. We're, we're going to have to do it through what they call the Heritage Lottery Fund. Yes. And that's, that's um, they've got their sort of procedures that you go through, and we've, we've got through the first hurdles. Good. Um, we've succeeded with that, which is a public consultation. They have just you know, to fund that and, and help us to get the reports done. So that's all done. Right. And then it proves that we've got, demonstrates we've got public uh, support, loads of public support, yeah. loads of public enthusiasm about what the space it should be used for when it's restored. Yeah. Um, and it proves that it's, you know, it, it should be viable. Yeah. The next stage is now to prepare documentation to get contractors' prices to do the main works. Mm -hmm. At the moment we're just doing some sort of intro works to I guess this was a board originally, but, was it? But yeah, that, that, that's the objective, so that'll take us another year to get that in place. Yeah. Um, and then we'll be able to do the work properly. Hello. Money connect, is that right? Yes, yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Please get into the standard that can be used. Um, this room's almost there, it's just up a little bit where I need some people to come and help. Mm -hmm. But just the general thing is, loads of people complain about my head and the other person has got this, that, and other. Well, this is going to be a community area. Anyone can use it. There's a crafty person already using it. Mm -hmm. Kate's Cafe or the Kids' Cafe is next door. I'm going to be opening an arts and crafts area. We've got the kilns and the pottery stuff from the college. Oh, lovely, yeah. We do art classes, there's everything. We've again, got, we're getting the arts already using it. Dementia groups already yeah. started using it. And again, once the arts area is moved up, then they can come over and do stuff. And again, with boxes and all of that. Um, there's, there's, well, it's just going for anything, really. Yeah. People would exercise, there's going to be somebody coming and using it for Pilates and stuff like that. So yeah. there will be a room, and again, somebody's not coming out, but there is room for other people. There's loads of yoga pieces mm. and stuff like that, exercise people. It can, it's a multifunctional room, not only that, people come and have meetings. Mm. We've been having meetings, we're trying to get a soapbox off the road in the town, and also we're, there's a group of us uh, fundraising for Christmas, and so there's a festival this year. So again, it's, it's just... Mm. We've got some of the rooms finished then, are we ready for people to do things in well, there? Kids, kids Cafe, you can have a look at that next yeah. time. Yeah, alright, let's go have a look. Um, there's a group, a collective of directors called Mind and Connect who are running the um, fundamentals of it. We're not really part of that, I'm, not, I'm just doing this side. Right, there's obviously scope for all sorts of people to help in all sorts of yeah. things here, aren't there? That's the old man entrance. <laughs> so this is um this is the room's been restored to its original shape. Yeah. Oh, nice so lighting. It's a kids cafe, which is for yeah. the families with young kids. Oh, and there's a little uh, kitchen yeah. down there. Yeah. Well, that's good. It is, and it's it's nice that people come and not worry about the children running around. You know, they're actually allowed to come and very encouraged to do it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, you saw that? They got the balls over there with the. Mm. Yeah. It's good, yeah, very good. It's, it's really nice because yeah, the kids really can be time. totally relaxed, you know. Yeah. yeah and how long has this been actually open and, and functioning? Four months, five months. That's it. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like all these things, it takes time to build up. Yeah, you know, do you still have vacancies for children or is it. Uh, this, this, yeah, you know, yeah, it's, so it's not, you don't have to reserve time or anything, you just come down and get, you know. Get yourself introduced to Kate and Emma. Yeah, yeah. Trundle in and have a coffee and a whatever, yeah. panini. Oh, there's a little um, display there, then. Yeah. Kids Cafe. Sky. Huh? Go Hello. 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 Right, good. Eventually. Uh, it, I mean, as, as more activities get... Yeah, the, yeah that's I mean, right. Yeah, then, more you know, return over there. Yeah. will expand. And, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice coffee seats oh, out there for one yeah. yeah. And then we have... 
to get passers by right. just coming in for coffees and. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get to watch it? So, you know, we don't into my nerves as often as we used to, perhaps. I put in for planning permission. Um, uh, sort of two years ago, and um, I have to say the council were really good and supportive to district council because it goes to district council. The planning officer was brilliant, and she was also the listed buildings officer. And she was uh -huh. very helpful to you know, to, to um, just keep us going in the right direction. Really good, good. And, um, yeah, it's been good. Fine. Right. We've done some of this stuff before. It's a bit challenging. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's quite a challenge for you to actually buy the property to uh, put all that behind it. You know. Wow. Well, what? Yeah. yeah. I couldn't see it go to some nasty person that would knock it down and build flats. Oh no, no, no. What do we see in here? Yeah. So obviously this is the toilet for the kids' cafe. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course, it's kind of a massive place, isn't it, really? Yeah. Ah. Thank you. Gosh, yeah. There's certainly ah. lots of work to be done. This used to be a uh, contract board. The idea with this is that um, all of this horrible single story stuff down the side here, from, from this wall there, will, before much longer, get demolished, and that'll be outside then. Oh, right. This will be the main sort of daily... Yeah. Point of entry. Right. Uh, and, and we're hoping that we'll have um, resource facilities like library, hopefully, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but certainly an area where people can uh, just generally meet and, and then get directed to whatever functions they're doing in the rest of the building. Mm -hmm. Because you've got the main building at the front and then you've got some good, useful areas as well at the back, which, right. which Emma's saying, as uh, she said, you've got the uh, hobby crafts area, the art area, mm -hmm. and um, exercise areas. Mm. And other clubs. I mean, if you look through here as well, behind the ground, you can see there as well. Lots of old bicycles. Is someone going to do them up? Don't start on his tandems. tandems. Oh, right. His tandems. Oh, right. He said we're going to have a... Have a benefit of a store, at least. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. We're going to have a bit of fun with them. Yeah, good. This was where the, um, they were going to um, put it into the Pilates area and what have you. Which used to be the entrance to the... What do you call it when you came in? Uh, what was this? You know, well, that was a receptionist. Oh, reception, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This was, uh, yeah, this was the outpatients department. Oh, sorry. And uh, we'll... You know, we'll, we'll sort out all the holes in the ceiling and put new lighting in. Yeah. New heating. Um, so yeah. you could certainly do with the many uh, able people to yeah, come and do yeah. these jobs. But this is where it just be nice for some of it, for just the sake of when you go upstairs and you see, there's a lot of it's just rubbish. Mm. And even if it's like the cadets or somebody like that, if there's enough of us, we can yeah. just mm. up yeah. and down, up and down like ants, and it'll soon get done. Um, the radio station isn't there? Yeah. Just down the corridor here, so I don't know if you know, but West Somerset Radio, uh, Brian Leek has run in that maybe, and that's what we've got income, we all can you get in. Uh, but the number was... I don't know. Is that where I'm? Oh, you're sure? Where are you still? He's joking Key West. But he's basically got um, a radio studio set up in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's hopefully going to go live in August. They're, they're running, um, yeah. Oh, yes, oh gosh. It's still ready to rock and roll. Yeah, so it is, yeah. Um, the, uh, what we're held up for at the moment is um, getting the transmitter uh, and its aerial established up on the top of the hill. Mm -hmm. um, and as soon as that's uh, up and running, we can, you know, we, we can actually go live on air. And then people hear much more about it all the time. All the permits are in place. Yeah. And Brian has uh, got his, his his team of people that are training other local people to be uh, program broadcasters, pro program presenters. Yeah. Um, and with a tool like this, because you know, they get so much help off the internet, that um, mm. it, it, it's relatively straightforward to do now.
A nice comfy chair here as well. <laughs> yeah, and the yeah. next door is being set up as well, but that's using the old style radio type systems. Mm, no so yeah. you've got, you know, from right up to the modern age step, right back to the 19th, that's 1980s yeah. step. Mm. Well, it's obviously that you're really serious about doing this job. <laughs> so, the whole lot of us are yeah. Really, yeah. really serious. Yeah, um, great. And, and uh, so it's just so nice that we've got, actually, we've got the community so well on board. You know? Yeah. What would be the name of this radio station? Or isn't West Somerset Radio. West Somerset FM, is it radio? West Somerset Radio, is it right. 104.4. 104.4. Yeah. 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 When they start transmitting. Yeah. As I say, they're linked up to the internet at the moment. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. What, did they actually do programmes from here then? Well, most of it's running automatically at the moment. They actually do soap testing. They're still doing testing on the moment. Yeah, right. Yeah, good. Mm. Come this way, I'll show you the lots of crafts area that we're working. Right. So... Oh, so many rooms, aren't there? Yes, well, this amazing. is the old reception when you came I used to put in the x-ray place room. once briefly and I had to have an x-ray on my back. That's so, there's the kiln from your college, your sure. tables, but this is basically going to be across there. God, that's had a bit of heat going on in there, but look at it. Yeah, it really is, yeah. <laughs> um, we've got a lot of the potter's wheels. Oh, lovely, yeah. It was sort of set out at one point, but then he's had to put the fire in, but yeah. he's doing wiring and stuff at the moment, so it's going to be a bit of 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 a I've got to put a bucket by the door. Oh, you're an artist, are you? Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, right. Yeah, I, haven't, I haven't painted for years, so no. I have to be on, so I'm just desperate to put stitch up on that. I came down the other day, but that's just no lights in here. Mm. So it's just really having a bit of a mm. Mm. splash around. Yeah. yeah, you like to see them, do you? They were, it's a collection I did years ago, oh, um, right. about 15 years ago when I was living in Bristol. I had a big workshop, but I've moved here when I was pregnant. You're in Bristol? <laughs> I was living in Bristol before I came we, we, here. That's where we moved from Bristol. We, I'm Bristol born and bred. Oh, well, I moved to Eastern. Oh, yeah. I spent nearly eight years there. Mm -hmm. That, you'll laugh, this was a picture of my dad. That I went yeah. to do, it's 74 now. I was painting <laughs> that for his 60s. I've sanded it back because um, I got home with it. Just I needed to finish the eyes. It looks nothing like it did. It was proper... Well, my mum, she looks at it, she says, I don't want that in the house. She says, why have you painted that? And then my sister came in and she asked me why I was painting a picture of my dad with big ears. And I just thought, <laughs> and because my mum moaned, this is what you'll laugh. No, see this one. It's not really big ears. So there's two pictures I liked of my dad and there was that one. Mm. And um, so I was going to do it double so it'd be bigger in my mum's house so she wouldn't want it. But I was going to mm. put him a knee up with laced up boots with a big scab on it. And I just thought that would really annoy her. <laughs> <laughs> and if she moans again, I so said, if you moan again, I'll go four foot square. <laughs> right. Really? Yeah, hmm. You're mm. very talented. Well, I was just, I was struggling in here because it, the lights, it was shining on it, but you can hardly mm. see it there, so I've got to get it seen going in. Mm. They all got dirty and scratched. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, eventually, you know, anyone mm. can come down and have it. And also, for other local artists or crafty people who haven't got somewhere and just want to do a project, then they'll be able to book it out for, a, you know, whatever they need. Mm. People can hold classes here. Yeah. And other people just come and learn new skills if they want, you know. Wonderful, through yeah. This, through this area here, we've got the old x-ray department. But this, uh, this area, the whole of this area here will get stripped out. All of this area here will get stripped out and all the roofing is taken off, all the walls taken off and we'll put like an orangery type roof over the top and mm. then this will be the, the new yes. place for, yes. for the cafe. It's the community area. cafe. Community yeah. cafe as such. Yeah. So the arrangement at the front is temporary. Mm. Uh, Kate's using it as it is. You said this was the x-ray room? This was the x-ray department. Yeah. The main x-ray room was right way yeah. through the back there. And it's a similar the sort of size room to... Yeah, but the whole lot gets gutted out yeah. and... and um, so say we take the roof off and then we put a nice orange root type roof on the top oh. and then sort the roof out. Wow. And, and, uh, You've got to have, a, have a big commitment to get involved with this. But if you, you know, if, if you just 
take it one bite at a time. Yeah, it, yeah, you'll get that. Unfortunately, we seem to be doing about ten bites in different locations. I know, so, yeah, which yeah. Is a bit, bit <laughs> I think the not, other not thing that's thing. worth pointing out as well, um, when when I first met Bill, I said to him about doing a DIY. DIY SOS style thing, get loads of locals in, and then when it got put on Facebook, eventually it, he gave in to me nagging him. He put a thing on there, and then there was a few people who put snide comments saying, you know, you're somebody from out of town, you bought this iconic building, you're gonna expect a load of local trades people to give their time up for nothing, and then what's to stop you signing it on? Which I find a bit ridiculous because oh, right, from, yeah. from my the way I saw it, you know, we've all lived around here, we've seen it empty for years. Mm -hmm. Everyone's said what they're going to do with it. They thought somebody's going to come in, turn it into flats and sure. just blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The fact that he's turned it into a community hub, to me, is magic. Like I said, mm -hmm. I've wanted a workshop space. Not just that, it's lacking. I lived in Bristol, you're from Bristol. Mm -hmm. Eastern is a small place, but it's got a community centre there and it is a hub. There's 62 speaking languages and everybody gets along. And mm -hmm. whenever there's a project like this, Locals do just come together. If there's grounds that need clearing, you know, everyone just mocks in and gets all the money. Mm. I know we're not so multicultural here, but the scope's there. So for anyone giving comments like that, and it's already, you've given yeah, over, well, what, anyway. 75 year lease or whatever, it kind yeah. of puts it, and, and it's irrelevant anyway, isn't it? Mm. For then now, it's going to be a community hub, and it's what we make it, basically. Yeah, so it's future, it, future is assured it. then, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, it would have been a shame to add up into the flats and something like that, wouldn't yeah. it, really? Well, I mean, admittedly, there's a couple of flats so on the top floor, yeah. which can be, we can be, um, eventually when they're finished, they'll be rented out, won't they? they? Yeah, but they're for rental, not yeah, They're not rental, to, not, not to sell. Or whatever, they're to rent. And when the middle floor is done, then people are going to be able to have weddings, proper functions, mm. they'll have catering equipment, yeah, and all really, the rest really of it. Um, There'd be a huge assembly room, yeah. first of all, ever, which can accommodate 500. Yeah, you certainly see the potential. There's, there's, yeah, there's yeah. nothing, yeah. nothing yeah. to match it. Yeah, we admire what you've done so far. <coughs> you know, you know. Mm. And, and that's you know, once we've got that recreated, then we can have <coughs> exhibitions here. We can have oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Model exhibitions. We can have wedding, um, wedding exhibitions. Mm. We can attract all sorts of exhibition types. Yeah, that's here. right. Um, conference facilities mm. and all the rest of it uh, at a far, you know, far bigger scale than anything is possible at the moment. Mm. Well, this is only half of it, because when the building was built originally, the staircase was twice this width. This wall didn't exist, this wall in the middle. Oh, right, yeah. It was a double staircase up to a half landing, and then two more flights forward to a big landing up at first floor level. Mm. So this wall didn't exist. The stair core was originally from there through to there. Oh, oh, right. So all of this lot has got to come out <laughs> okay. um, and recreate the yeah. left-hand side of the staircase as it was originally. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, we've got half of it anyway. <laughs> we've got half. See, the other thing that I think is nice about this, lots of people locally have had loved ones come and go in here, they've been treated in here themselves. But mm. for anyone who has lost somebody, you know, the fact it's going to have... Mm. This was the uh, years, this was the kitchen. And uh, we stripped out all of the, well, most of the redundant services, and uh, it'll be uh, restored back to its original shape. Wow. Nice Work. Tremendous. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. you, I used to volunteer on what it's station. I thought we had a lot to do down there, uh, but <laughs> compared to this, it's nothing. Well, it's, it's, you know, we're gradually knocking through it, but, uh, you know, a pretty good rate of knots. God. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, great. I'll show you through this area again. When you came to the top of the stairs originally, this glass frame didn't exist, this wall didn't exist, this balcony was twice this width. God. And uh, you came to, and there were two stone mullion doors, this one, oh, yeah, yeah. and on the other side. Oh, God. Brendan said he could recreate that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a magnificent um, type doorway, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I know where the doors are for this, too. They're in some of these gardens. Oh, God. Oh, there's the lift that a lot of people so must have used. Yeah. yeah. Some structural issues to sort But they're nice, convenient sized rooms, aren't they, for all sorts of. Yeah. Well, well very, very when, when, when it's they? finished, all of these walls go. Mm. And, and the room becomes from yeah. the, the stone mullion all the way through to there. Yeah. Right the way from end to end. And as I say, it'll accommodate 500 people. Oh, that's really that. big, isn't it? Yeah. What was the year this building was? Um, 1888. 1888? Yeah. 
And then in 1910, it fell into the hands of the bank. Um, and uh, the bank hacked it around. So they slotted the attic floor in. They slotted the dormer windows in. Uh, this staircase that's around the back here. Uh, and the dividing wall and the partition walls. They slotted those in. And then in 1915, it was redundant because the bank was taken over by Lloyd's. Lloyd's said, we don't need that building anymore. So, so then it went into the First World War war record. When, was it, when did it become the hospital then? 1915. 1915. Yeah, and, and it, was, it was a recovering hospital from, you know, for, for war veterans and stuff oh, right. like that. And, and then over the years they gradually altered it, or oh, say altered it, more and more. Oh. So the idea is to strip all this lot out and strip the attic floor out and return it to its original vaulted. Mm altered arrangement and get rid of the door and windows and everything. So we've got so we restore the original acoustics <coughs> for you know for, for acoustic performance. So lights? Yeah. So that's upstairs. Look at those. Oh I see, yes. That's Joe, one of our little helpers, bless him. Mm. He's been a good boy. Mm. What do you say? Um, boy, how old is he? Seventeen. Oh, so <laughs> sure, he's our youngest boy. help, but he's been <coughs> And again, for him, he's twiddling his thumbs. There's loads of local youngsters. They can come. I can teach them so much. But, you know, he was, he was using the belt stander. Look, here you go. Here's our Joe. Mm. <laughs> I was being silly there. But he was belt standing. Mm. There's a great one here. I, wrote, I sucked high out of his top. Where is it? Hang on. Look, it says high with the hoover from dust. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Great, great. Yeah. Well, we're just looking at this. What, what, what was this room originally then? I think it was This was part of the original Great Hall, or the assembly room. Oh, originally. <laughs> it looks like a small office or something. Yeah, no, because yeah. these, none of these walls existed. Uh -huh. All of these walls have been added in. Yeah. So oh, and what are these tiles? Where going? these tiles have come off, we have got the ones that have come out of there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And downstairs there's another one which has been painted on. Is it, oh, that is a view of um, Blue Anchor Peach, yeah. is it? Oh, that's yeah, nice. Trailer. Yeah. And is that um, a view of anything local or is it just a. I don't know, who has a name on here somewhere. Or D. Blackmore. That's what you want to do. Oh, yes, he's um, oh, right. famous. Oops. That's all right. Just <laughs> 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 There's an inscription there. Yeah, isn't it? The willow bushes over the stream hung as if they were angling. Oh, that's a quote from the book, I suppose, yeah. Come the water Piece laughing the, uh, like a maid at their own dancing. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's good. Well, we're looking at another mural here with no lighting, really. What, from the light, oh. from a mobile phone? Right, yeah. That's, is that painted on the tiles? Yeah, so? someone's painted. Yeah. Put something up and painted directly on. Don't recognise the location, but uh, somebody might. Right, this is going to be our last little room to look at. Yeah. Well, this shows you the full width of what will be the room, which yeah. is from that bottom of the truss over that side through to this side here. All yeah. the walls we cleared out, including the big walls in the middle there. Huh. Um, and that ceiling goes as well because, as I say, it gets opened up to its original. Oh, yes, Final I see. Yeah. with posterity. Yeah. <laughs> we need volunteers. Yes. <laughs> any age, yeah. any capabilities. If you want a tradesman, all the better. Because some of the things, like in the room Brendan was working in, there's a bit of plastering he's doing. And yeah. I could botch it, but they could, they, they, oh, you know, yeah. a couple of hours of their time to yeah. get a lot of things done. And if everyone just gave a few hours, yeah. There's a huge opportunity be... for youngsters to learn mm. yeah. skills, yeah. building skills on it when it gets, you know, when it gets going to the contract stage. Yeah. And, and that's, um, that, you know, that's another spin-off advantage of doing what we're doing. Yeah. Well, could we sign off with saying who you are? Oh. <laughs> well, I'm, yeah, I'm Bill Howard. Yeah. And I'm, as I say, I'm, I'm co-owner of it. Right. And this is Emma Hobbs. <laughs> Number who's, one who's, uh, who's volunteer. Who's volunteer extraordinaire. Great. Uh, along, along with the others who are young here again. Right, and is there some sort of contact address? I suppose mail will get if through to you. If they go to Extreme Minehead Connect on there, because Minehead Connect are who are organising everything, yeah. they right. go to Extreme that and it will That's on the internet, is it? Yeah, yeah. and also yeah. I've put out a call on the Facebook pages, my, right. you know, Minehead community. Yeah. The conversation, chit chat, but also I have thought I need to go into Watch It, Willerton and all the surrounding areas. Mm. Because again... Well, this will go on probably We Love Watch It. 
um, yeah. Facebook and YouTube nationally or internationally. So mm. hopefully yeah. that, that reaches people who are looking Come for something to do. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your own. Maybe we're all Let's consolidate. Thank you.